Hello everyone out there, Morgan from the Love Media team. So today we thought we'd have a little bit of fun because there is a lot of talk on the internet about people using mobile phones versus professional camera equipment to film properties. So we thought let's get our professional videographer Andy and he's just going to be shooting with his trusty old iPhone and our trainee Tom has got the full setup. So uh, let's go inside and see what kind of result these guys can come up with. Radio, let's uh, set up our gear. Yeah, radio, just be a second. I can't get the camera on your base plate. Sure. Thanks. Um, so straight up, we found out the advantage of just pulling your phone straight out of your pocket. There's very little setup time using a gimbal. You've got to obviously balance everything, make sure it's all set up right. Um, sometimes it's already set up for next time, but not in this case. And taking the lens cap off first helps. So the point of this exercise is to keep things super basic. So I'm just going to be shooting somewhat on auto. You can get apps that um, can change the shutter speed. You can change the ISO or the white balance, but I'm gonna be shooting on auto. Basically, because I'm going handheld, it's gonna be pretty shaky. I'll stabilize it afterwards and 60 frames so I can slow it down as much as possible. So obviously when we go to a house, uh, it's best to get three nice shots of the front of the property outside, one wide, uh, one secondary shot showing off a different portion. You have a third creative shot where you can kind of just do what you want and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Sometimes the iPhone can be really good because it uses a lot of AI to automatically chop an overexposed inside and an underexposed outside. So when you actually look at it, it does quite a good HDR image. Um, it cheats a lot, but it's fake. Sliding shot, learn something new every day. I assumed it was a pen. Oh, yeah. Um, at the end of the day, it does come down a lot to the experience and how you should be shooting and certain angles that you get and the edit more than it does the gear. I just like the, the way it feels when you edit a video and you have that really smooth transition into an eye close up. There's no real set way to shoot a house, but we do a lot of volume here at Love Realty, so I always try to factor in the edit as I'm shooting and walk through the house the same way that I intend to edit the video. Obviously you can improve it with phone gimbals and stuff like that, but we'll see, maybe I'm talking too soon and Tom will smash me out of the park. Well, we can tell the white balance is going a bit funky. Alrighty, time to move outdoors. How that work? You press, you know, you press the mode button to change it to lock, and that will pin lock. So when you're going sideways like that, it will stay in the one point. Yeah. Personal follow, but keep it like that level. Yeah. So as long okay. as you just yeah adjust it with the toggle by eye. Oh, that was a panning wide shot. I just like it as a good opener. Slide. Um, and what we call the shot? Pan. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna try a push in, which is obviously a lot easier with the gimbal all the way from out front straight into the front door. So I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we'll give it a whirl. So already crossed some issues uh, with my phone. I only have limited storage and it looks like I may have maxed out the amount of room I have shooting at 4K and 60 frames. It seems to have paused. Um, so I don't know what's going on with my phone. I think it's full. I think the storage is full. So good thing about iPhones is everyone has one. Take over with Tristan. <laughs> and then I'm just trying to set the focus and the brightness on the exposure, sorry, on the uh, actual house itself, but it's not working too well, to be honest. Maybe you'll look better in the edit. We'll have to see. It's hard to tell outside. So keeping things consistent, um, we need some aerial shots, but obviously you've got to do it on the phone. So I'm going to set the timer. That's pretty good. Oh, are you guys still going? Yeah. Right, okay, because I'm done. So I don't know. I just thought you guys would be done, because I'm done. Right. 
<laughs> See ya. I feel like that was a bit of a burn. Alrighty, so I've just dropped all my footage onto the timeline and it was actually really simple. It all just airdropped straight from my phone to my Mac. Super simple, the only slight complication is with the iPhone, it only lets you record 4K 60 instead of 4K 50 for whatever reason, maybe one of the other apps lets you do that, which is standard NT, NP, NTC? NPTC, I don't know, American standards, I don't know what I, we meant, we're meant to shoot in PAL. Won't do a 4K edit because I, in most things, we render out in 1080 anyway, so I'm gonna be cropping in a lot to smooth out some of my janky footage. See how we go. All right, so Andy's getting underway with editing his phone footage. I must say I'm not surprised, but he has done a good job with the footage there. Uh, having a little gander over the shoulder. Basically, I think some of the advantages I'll find is that I'm very much used to this professional standard process. Uh, it's gonna give me the ability to focus on the task at hand and hopefully be a bit more creative. All right, so the videos are being edited and it's crunch time. If you wanna look at the full versions, the links to both of those are in the description below. So here's what we found so far. Shooting with the iPhone is definitely quicker and the AI helps out a lot with exposure and focus. However, it looks good from far, but far from good. There is a lot of noise in the footage and we had to stabilize it quite a lot to get a good result. On the other hand, our trainee using quite a complicated camera really had his work cut out for him. So despite his cockiness, I think what really let Tom down was the creativity or lack of in his shots, the editing techniques and just exposure tweaks to the camera. Whereas our professional Andy knew all the right techniques to use and even though he was going handheld, his footage came out pretty good. All right, so that was quite a little fun experiment for us to conduct here at Love. Um, please check out our YouTube channel and see what a professional operator using a professional camera can create. So smash that thumbs up button if you like this video and please subscribe for more fun content from Love. Mm -hmm.